So pyrazinamide is one of the uh, four first-line agents for treating mycobacterium tuberculosis infections. Uh, pyrazinamide is a little bit of a unique agent because, uh, as far as susceptibility testing, because you have to test it under acidic conditions, which makes it a little bit trickier. And also some of the broth susceptibility methods that we have for testing pyrazinamide right now tend to overcall resistance to pyrazinamide. So in other words, the broth method says the organism is resistant to pyrazinamide when actually in reality it's susceptible and you could use pyrazinamide to treat the patient. This is kind of a well-known issue with broth susceptibility testing for pyrazinamide. There have been literature reports about uh, some of the, the FDA cleared uh, broth methods having issues with false resistance to pyrazinamide. We have witnessed it here ourselves. And I think a lot of it is due to the fact that it's difficult to um, get the inoculum exactly right for broth susceptibility testing for pyrazinamide. You need acidic conditions. If you over inoculate, you can tend to get uh, false resistance. You have too much organism there, so it, it, the drug doesn't kill it all. So it looks like it's resistant to the organism. So there are issues with the broth susceptibility method that are well known and that have been going on for years and years. Um, we chose to look at DNA sequencing of the PNCA gene, or some people call it the pink A gene, uh, to look at pyrazinamide resistance because it's known in the literature that the majority of the mutations that are associated with PNCA or pyrazinamide resistance are due to mutations in the PNCA gene. So probably 95% of the resistance to pyrazinamide can be detected by sequencing the PNCA gene and a small region of the promoter upstream from the PNCA gene. So we um, developed and validated a method for sequencing the PNCA gene that allows us to, to confirm a lot of our broth susceptibility testing results for PNCA. So if we have questions about is, it, is the organism truly resistant to pyrazinamide uh, by the broth method, we can sequence and confirm that resistance using PNCA sequencing. Uh, a majority of the time. So now there's no lab test that's perfect, so it's possible that there are mutations outside of the PNCA gene in the promoter region that we sequence that could be associated with pyrazinamide resistance, and we might miss those with, with PNCA sequencing. But we're fairly confident in our experience over the last few years with PNCA sequencing clinically that we're capturing the vast majority of the true PNCA uh, resistance, pyrazinamide resistance that we're seeing. Uh, in these organisms. So it's a nice additional tool if you have questions about the broth susceptibility results, you kind of are questioning whether it's accurate or not. PNCA sequencing is a nice way for you to confirm the broth susceptibility results uh, for M. tuberculosis complex.